Hello, this is uh, David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on how to load uh, Gulfstream current data provided by the Navy into an electronic charting program. And uh, once once you once you see how you do this, it's just, it can be done in other programs. I'm you going to be using. Um, uh, open CPN, but it works the same way, just as easy, if not easier, in uh, Expedition. Um, so here's a Ocean Prediction Center web page. Then click Ocean. Here's Ocean data here. Then it shows this one picture. You click that picture. Now we're into their Ocean products, and this is U.S. Navy Gulf Stream. So this is the main. This is the main data we want. They make this data about every. Well, they say three times a week. It's thirty every thirty-six hours. They publish this data, but they don't work on or they don't publish data on the weekends. So if your if the next forecasted data is due on a weekend, then you have to skip that cycle and go to the next. So you might have a little delay in there. And that's an interesting point that comes up in another article that we're doing. So I mention it now. They, they sort of say that right here. Uh, okay, so there's two kinds of data here. One is pretty common, I think. This is the, the so-called features analysis of the, Navy, of the Navy, which is sort of the starting point for, for understanding the Gulf Stream. No matter what other sophisticated tools you have, this is a starting picture. And uh, then that's the north part. And then down here is the south part here. And that's what we're going to look at here, this south part. We're, our other article is about this area right in here. But we're going to look at all this. So one way to look at the data is this picture. So one thing you can do is you can load this picture, right, geo-reference this picture, and put it right into an eChart program. And I'll show you that. So you would just right click, click Save Image As, and then put it in your downloads and save it and I'll come back to that okay save it now but however I want to go to a little a different mode that is a, a, got a few more steps to it and that's this one this is and I'm guessing that a lot of folks haven't looked at this Gulfstream ASCII data and you look at that and here's a bunch of numbers now these are certainly numbers and they are the ball they are the coordinates let me back up here uh, they are they are the lat lon coordinates of these lines along here. This being what's called the north wall, or some down down here the west wall, and this here is the uh, south wall. Uh, it doesn't apply so much down here. And they figure this wall is based on the temperature. They take the they find the place where the temperature is dropping the fastest over a ten nautical mile period, and that line is is what's marked here as this wall, which is usually an indication of where the very strong current is starting somewhere along there. Uh, there's there's more to say about that. But, okay, so here's this data. So here is this data. But the trouble is it's not in a very nice way to just get into a program. So what I want to just do now is quickly show you how to get that into a program. So you would just take that data. Let's just take this part here. And there's the north wall. And down here you see, look at this, south, south wall. So let's just take the north wall, right? I'll copy the north wall. Then I'm going to put it into uh, a text editor, uh, PC or Mac, it doesn't matter. It's come in here. Here's this data. Now here's what then you have to do. You have to, you have to get this. Um, there's several ways again to do this, but the, 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 the program I use online uh, lets you do it with north, with north and west. Normally you have to change these to uh, um, the west uh, being a minus, but uh, this program you don't. Okay, so I'm going to come here, and I'm just going to say uh, Command F, and I'm going to then I'm going to replace. So I'm going to change the ends, the capital ends, to um, N comma. Oops, no, wait a minute. N. I'm going to change the N to N comma. Okay, replace them all. And then I'm going to go to the W and do the same thing. W changes to a W comma. 
uh, all. Okay. Now, then I have to write in here. Okay. Well, let me just. Okay. So now I copy this again. Command A. Command C. So now I've copied this. All I've done is broke up the latitude and the longitude. Now we go to a special website. That's this one. And you can find this GPS visualizer. Just you can write that down, GPS visualizer. And uh, that, there, there's several services online that do this. Um, but this works pretty well. So then you just go in here. Here's the data. You can see I've done it once. Command A, delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste that data that I just copied right in here, uh, right in there. Now you have to go up in the front of it and write latitude, comma, longitude, comma. Latitude, longitude, comma, got this date. Call it a GPX. Call it a GPX file. This is default. This is a comma because we use a comma here. And that's really all you have to do. And then you say convert. So this is going to make a GPX file out of that. And you see it made a track. It made a track GPX file where there's a latitude and longitude. And that's all we need. Then you can just say uh, right click this, you know, and give it a name. Uh, see, it's already a GPX file. You know, you could name it like uh, North Wall put it in your downloads. Okay, save. All right, that's done. Uh, now, once you've done that, uh, and you've done that to the north wall and the south wall, then you can come back. Let's come back to here. And now you would say, uh, open up this, uh, I'm in now OpenCPN, for example, and open up this uh, Waypoint Manager, Routes, Tracks, it doesn't matter what you do here and then say import GPX and here are those two files I put them in this file but this is exactly the file that we just made that's for the north wall and you can do them bring them both in at the same time north wall and south wall and say open uh, well oh wait a minute those are tracks I'm looking at routes so there's the tracks right there say okay now, so here you see, I don't have charts or anything here, but here those are the two walls that are now in a navigation program. And if you're doing routing, uh, oh, I have some terrible base map here. Okay, I'm not going to deal with that now. It doesn't matter. But you can have real charts and real base maps, and then you can navigate, and you'll have this data here. And you can get this data sent to you every day. Again, it's updated every 36 hours. And uh, you can use a subscription. You would just uh, go get the subscription. You would write an email to saledocs, query at saledocs.com. And it would say subscribe. Well, you just say sub. And then you put in um, the URL. And then it'll bring it to you once a day for two weeks. And there's ways to fine tune that. Um, so that's that. Oh, okay. So one other thing I wanted to show you can also import that picture. Now, this is the plugin weather facts that you do that with. And I've done it once. See, I have it already in here in geo referenced. And once you have this set up and geo referenced, then uh, it'll come back every time you put the picture in. So every time they update this, well, I'll show you that. But you see, it's, it's not exactly on their line, but it's pretty close. It's both the data from the Navy. It's just, uh, that's just the way they present it. So you have uh, two ways to look at this. The picture is a little more involved, but uh, we have videos on how you do that. Uh, here is the picture uh, file uh, edit. And when you, when you import the picture, it'll look something like this. And then you, it, it, this is just a big corner of it. You know, it's a big picture. Then you say next. And then you have to put the, uh, the georeferencing points. Here's the red ones I have set here, right? And at the other end, at the other end, and be careful not to click anything, or I'm going to georeference. And here's the green ones up here. That's these. And that's put here. And then I've just saved this. You see, this is a saved geo-referencing right here. So that, uh, um, I'm not sure if I ruined it or not. Let's see. No, 
it's okay. So there you go. Those are the two techniques I want to be able to refer to in another article. It is loading, loading the ASCII data into a eChart program and loading the uh, graphic image. Again, there's more notes on the graphic image elsewhere. And we also have other articles online about using a, the visualizer. The visualizer uh, has a lot of uh, functionalities in navigation and weather analysis.